Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this video we are going to create three important things. One is auth provider, then name credential and external credential. Now all of this is needed because we want to do an HTTP callout from our flow. And in order to do the HTTP callout from the flow, we need to provide the name credential. And in order to create a name credential, we need to create an external credential. And in order to create an external credential, you need to provide an auth provider. So that is the whole picture. So the first thing is, where do we need to create the auth provider? We want the access given to our client app, right? We want our client app to get authorized for which application, for that external system application where the data is hosted. So the first thing is I am going to log in to our, my client app. Now, what is the client app? The client app you, uh, username is this one, right? This is the client app username. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide that over here and hit the login. Once I am logged in, so I'm logged into my this particular app here. Now, next thing is I am going to quick find and I will look for auth providers. So here I'm going to say auth providers. This is under the identity. You see the auth providers and then we will click on new here. And who is the provider type? So provider type can be Salesforce. So I'm going to choose Salesforce here. You can choose any of these auth providers. So if let's say sometimes when you're trying to log into a different application, let's say Zoom application and Google can be your auth provider, right? It'll tell you, hey, do you want to use your Gmail uh, to kind of log into your Zoom app? So that is acting as an auth provider. So here I'm going to choose Salesforce as an auth provider and we'll call it as Salesforce auth provider. And then here the authorized endpoint URL is this, token endpoint URL is this, we are not going to change anything. And if you want to provide an icon, you can do that. If you want to provide a custom logout URL, you can do that. If you want to provide a custom error URL, you can do that. All of these things we can do. Now the ne next thing is we need to provide the consumer key and consumer secret. So where are we going to get this? We are going to get this from our source application and uh, if you remember in our postman also we have all this data right so authenticating with the employee if you see here this is the collection that i've created and this is my client id so i can copy from here as well this is one of the place and the other place is you go over to your source app which is where the employee data is hosted and then you go over to connected app and you can get it from there as well Similarly, we will go ahead and copy our client secret. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it over here. So we have provided all this information, everything else we are going to keep it as it is. And then here I'm going to hit the save button. So I'm able to create